Definitely changed my life. Okay, dude. <laughs> oh, okay, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to get emotional and stuff, but it's, it's the truth. It's literally the truth. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Seth Slayer with a video here today. We're gonna say brand new video, episode number two of reviewing your portfolios. We're basically just review your portfolios that you guys ended up like sending to me and all that good stuff and we kind of have a little, little discussion about pros and cons and just like great things, cool things, highlighting some things and uh, overall just some fun. So hopefully you guys of course enjoyed the first episode um, which was, I'm, I'm happy with it. I love the actual series. So hopefully you guys continue loving it, continue supporting it. And uh, if you guys wanna ever be in one of these, all you guys have to do is go to discord.gg, so that's what HQ, join over there. And basically every week or so I'll kind of like tweet out or or like, you know, message you guys and then be like, hey, you should join, all that good stuff. So with that being said, enjoy today's episode. And uh, yeah, that's it, enjoy. All right, so first portfolio we have here is by Liam. Uh, what is Toronto Ultra 2021 sort of like uh, I'm guessing like a rebrand kind of thing going on here so immediately the first thing I noticed I love I don't know how many times I gotta say it I absolutely love and adore these sort of like motion little element banner thing here that just like hits for me it's a nice just nice clean presentation just kind of start off with so I'm gonna take a wild guess and say your layout theme is based on like having fun with rectangles most likely um okay. yeah that's the goal for the project yeah Fuck yeah, I mean, I, it actually it actually works really, really well. It's a really fun way to kind of navigate, I guess, putting information in different like little spots and, and whatnot. Also, the color schemes as well that you chose for this. I don't know if this is the original color scheme, but beautiful, I'm being honest. Oh, I really love this layout, though. I can't, I can't even lie. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Honestly, really pretty. I can't even lie. It's definitely new for me. To, like, i never seen something like this. So props to you, of course. Okay, nice use of the mock-ups as well. I got little mock-ups for, you know, people's headers and whatnot. That's a really nice touch, especially when people don't really know how to see the vision when it comes to like, yo, this is what your header is going to look like. You just send them the header. But if you put the header on their Twitter header, that little extra step can really help them envision what they're going to be seeing. And uh, it might give you a little bit less feedback, which is always great. Okay, and you ended it off with a nice little motion thing as well to kind of compliment the top and the bottom. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. This is this is dope, Liam. What made you think about the, the rectangles though? Like what, what was the thought there? Uh, I don't know. I, I'd never seen anything done similarly. Or if it is done, it's it's not very done often. So I thought that trying to introduce uh, kind of like an abstract, but still somewhat organized layout would be really attractive. And uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I, I do. I, I love the way you said abstract too. I, I didn't even like. You killed this man. I, like, no more recording for me. Like, I'm, I'm just like, this is, this is sick. Like, actually, sick. All right, guys. So next portfolio is by Rui. It looks like a sports poster collection, volume one. So I'm guessing there's more volumes coming in. Um, right off the bat, I'm appreciative. I'm always gonna be appreciative of people who kind of showcase all their kind of files or all like mostly what's in the project like immediately. Cause if it all looks certainly like consistent or good, then it's it's gonna draw me in, right? Let's start, let's scroll. Okay, this color scheme is actually fire though. Chelsea, is this Chelsea's actual like colors? Uh, yes, for the third kit. Dude, the third designer killed the colors, but you also killed the layout. This is the kill, kill the layout, but you killed it, bro. Like that's actually, yeah, my voice. <laughs> <laughs> but you These killed so the layout. Nice. The layout is so, so freaking dope. Not gonna lie, the previous portfolio that I just did was working with like rectangles and squares. I don't know what it is in the, like what's in the water today, but like rectangles are indifferent. So I'm down for it. That's actually a super, super fun little color scheme there. You have a nice sense of like, how do you say like composition wise, it's very, very simple and clean. But at the same exact time, if I was told, hey, just use black, white and some text, right it's you know how do you where do you go from there and also some little bit of pink right like this like almost asymmetrical vibe like you could have easily made the symmetrical put it in the middle have the text lay right here but honestly it might be a little bit it just looked too blank but that little offset kind of draws me in a little more attention it kind of feels a little more accurate in my opinion i'm not gonna lie though i see this is not centered um we're gonna talk about that that's fine you can say it was not supposed to be centered but it needs to be centered <laughs> between the lines where's that i see it you see that uh-huh mm -hmm. i'm nitpicking bro because it's so good so just for the record I'm, okay I'm <laughs> um I'm okay missing. another simple nice project um maybe you want to just take the same exact style and idea but just use a different shape is what i would say if like if you're doing another project 
um, because it is so successful, so cool, and like using rectangles in this case, maybe the next time you use like a pentagon and you can at least at least kind of like start um, almost like a style in a sense. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, Rui, this is this is sick, super 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 sick. A full scroll of like like three in a row, like three like a three by nine or however many pictures there are, like a three by nine kind of scroll through, just kind of see all of them again at once. Besides me having to kind of scroll up, right, kind of see them all. Just so I'm like super satisfied. That's my that's my yep. only thing. But this is honestly this is sick. This is super, super successful. I think this is a really nice project. All right, guys. So next up, we have Vex with a Clutch Gaming, I'm guessing, eSports rebranding here. Um, I never realized how cool the logo actually was for uh, Clutch Gaming here. Also, why in the universe did they not make that... Ah, whatever. Not your fault. Okay, so if I'm looking at the uh, the Twitter headers, immediately I kind of get this really fun vibe that I'm about to see something very much so in like, like the grungy kind of like gritty scene. Oh, wait. It's almost like you used a gradient to kind of draw in some sort of, how do you say, like RGB split. It looks really, really good. And I'm hoping that's consistent throughout everything else. It feels as if it should because it's such a really fun, unique kind of idea. I will not lie though. When it comes down to like this one over here, for instance, I think the actual typography is a little bit like lacking like uh how do you say a hierarchy like if you look here right clutch gaming academy versus tsm right i do feel like the clutch gaming academy should be almost being in this one little group for the record right what i would probably do is be like yo clutch gaming and then i'll write academy right here and then for this i'd probably say yo if you ever have an issue where like one text is longer than the other then you can just go ahead and kind of make this one bigger just so that kind of fits here make this one bigger so it kind of fits here right and then versus tsm could be on its own separate line versus tsm academy Right here, now this kind of like draws a little more idea of like the actual hierarchy. But in this case as well, besides just using grouping, you can also use type um, font sizes or not font sizes, but five font weights. Uh, you can use color as well. So if I made this black, right? Now this draws way more attention to Clutch Gaming Academy. And the TSM is more of a bold. It's like bold, but not black, how at the top is. Right, and if I say, yo, I wanna go further, boom, right, a little bit of color, also the same exact thing. So, that's what I would probably do for this right here. That's the only, like, only little complaint. You did a pretty freaking fantastic job. I liked, again, the fact that you kept the, uh, the actual effect consistent, because it just makes the actual project feel as a whole, even though you're using completely different colors. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. All right, guys, so next project is Aerith with her split gate logo concept. And I know the game a little bit. Like, I know the game is kind of popular right now. A game like 200,000 like players or something faster than Among Us. That's what their storyline is or whatever. Okay, also, let me get a, okay, let me get a preference really quick of what the current one is. Split gate logo. That will help me, actually. The fact that I just Googled that reminded me, maybe that should be in the beginning here. Uh, I don't know if it's just a me thing, but I'd like to see a comparison between like the before and after only because if I don't really know what it looks like in this case right now, don't gotta waste my time Googling it and leave your page. I'm gonna be honest, it's on there. You just have to scroll down just like a few, like a few, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> you could have you told me you had it and that just roasted you the entire time. Okay, so if I just waited two milliseconds to scroll down, it's there. That's fine. That works out. But yo, next time you can just let me know and not just completely roll right. you on that one. So I do appreciate the fact that this is here. So you got to get an idea of what uh, you are going to be looking at. The color palette itself as well. It's super, super pretty. They did a solid job on that. Current logo is more like this. I think their, their current logo is very, very fragile. Um, it's very sort of like, uh, yeah, just not it. To be honest, I don't know how to put that. Like the thick lines for me, it's a very, very big plus. Also, the fact is, right, it fits more in this kind of like square concept where this over here is a little more like kind of rectangle-ish. And for some reason, I don't know if it, either if it is or is not, but this bottom piece here kind of feel like it kind of flows out a little bit too much. When I look at over here, it does feel like it's very, very cohesive and clean. So I can definitely immediately appreciate that. I'm curious, what made you change the middle though? Um, I actually play Splitgate a lot. And when I was playing, I noticed that when you use a portal, there's like a little ping icon on the top of the portal in game. And it's actually that shape that I used in the uh, update of the logo. Gotcha. The little circle in the middle. I don't know why they have that left one. I'm not sure what that is, other yeah, than it being a that portal. That makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> I don't... Okay. I was gonna say, like, I almost felt like they did this middle point thing on purpose, 
and the fact that you know it's not on purpose and you kind of have a, a literal icon hud that's in the game currently that you can easily use for the middle that's a very good catch i mean i'm gonna 100 percent say they probably did not expect their game to blow up so they're probably like whatever x the logo or just go with whatever they went with beautiful idea beautiful concept way better font choice a way better look and i also love the little fun sort of uh how do you say expression or or characteristic on the a it just adds a little bit more to it she yeah. made that you made my it. hand yes oh i love that i love the general direction there like i actually love that wait okay i don't see this as a font i can't even lie to you it's so it's clean as shit um tell me your, whether or not if i'm wrong or right here or say i'm right to make you look better but i know there's a lot of ramps in the game did you make the a a ramp because there's a lot of ramps in the game i actually didn't but now that you mentioned that it kind of makes sense Okay, so maybe you should say it next time. Like, absolutely. That's what would draw me. Like, for me, I was like, the A stands out, but it stands out almost for a reason, as if I, like, almost, I'm about to, I, I can envision, like, the actual characters running up this A for whatever reason. It just makes it feel a little more engaging, a little more fun, only because that's happy little accidents, right? That shit happens all the time. When I'm doing logos, most of the time, I kind of have this really fun little vision. Then all of a sudden, someone's like, oh, did you put, like, a heart in there just because? Like, it looks really cool. And you see this negative space heart, and you're like, oh, crap. Absolutely not, but I definitely did on purpose, you know? Right. One of those yeah. things, kind of like own it. Um, just for the record, anyone future out there who's like getting your portfolio reviewed or by a by a how do you say a professor or whatever, if they go like, oh, this is a really good touch here, don't act surprised. Act like that was meant to happen. This is an actual W project. I love this revamp. That's a W, and we absolutely take those. All right, guys, so last up, we have Sly Designs with a social media pizza, sort of, I'm guessing, expiration for like, I guess, food stuff, food menu stuff, which is actually kind of cool. For the record, big fan of the type choice. Like immediately, first things first, type choices of absolute W to me. One thing I would notice immediately, right, uh, is this right here. First, oh, what? I, it, this is not lined up. It's confusing me just a, like a tiny bit. Um, it's not in the sense like it can't be, like it does have to be lined up, but it just, <laughs> it just hurt me a little bit in my soul, but that's okay. But the price thing as well, it stands out. I like the little backdrop there to kind of help out, kind of like say like, hey, this is, this is what you know the price is, paying attention to it, drawing attention toward it. There we go, that's what I meant to say. I like the obvious the fact that they kind of like, kind of float around in this fun little like foreground, background kind of like atmosphere. A very nice little touch, right? Uh, kind of like let them flow out of the actual pizza itself. I would say the social media here on the bottom right is actually simple, right? Of course, you have social links. However, I do just think the spacing is a little bit awkward. Um, given the fact you have so much real estate, you don't have so much real estate anyway. I think the spacing here is a little bit awkward. I like the space between here and here, here and here. But then when it gets down here, it's a little bit weird, but that's okay. I love, again, I got the fun little elements kind of flying out from the pizza itself. It's a nice way to draw some space. Ooh, oh yes. <laughs> okay, that's a, that looks delicious. <laughs> I'm on a diet, so <laughs> um, the color scheme here for me is really, really nice and attractive. It's very fun. It's a very flavorful color, right? You got the brownie kind of color, like the creamy kind of like background, the little brown, the orange just makes a lot of sense for me. It looks really, really dope, really good for me. If it was up to me, Sly, if I'm like, yo, how would I present, uh, present this entire project? I would go, yo, boom, the first things first, uh, pizza, have, have a little bit of fun with it. I love your tight torches here, like pizza exploration right and then you kind of have you know three or four of your favorites right on the top just like this right so they can get a bit of a vibe right and then you like maybe now you start introducing the bigger uh photos and after that maybe in the middle of the product you can add some mock-ups of just like a nice simple storefront like you can type in the store storefront mock-up you can have a little mock-up in there too i feel like it'd be a nice a way more enjoyable experience besides just having great design All right, guys, so the last project we have is the unique branding project by Scott Lethal. Um, I, uh, I'm a Ben Pixels, okay, unique is a, a fictional apparel brand marketed toward and it was looking for a high quality, high status apparel. Okay. Uh, oh, the logo is kind of fun. It's very fun. It's very just like, maybe the, maybe the word's unique. It's just, it's just, it is a logo, right? It's an icon almost, right? Right, new collection out now, very simple. I like the little simple chest hit, really fun sort of like uh, washed out tea theme. So for me, immediately the, the first thing I was like, I saw was like black and white, 
right? Simple, cool, whatever, right? Then you got the, the, lo the logo unique. That immediately for me almost gave me a little bit of a turnoff. For me, this middle piece here is just very, it's a very boring exploration just to showcase the fact, you know, it's, so, it's, so, it's such a small product too, that, hey, we're like, we like the colors black and white. If I had a brand called Unique, right? And it's like a clothing brand, you wanna get people hyped for it, all that good stuff around it. Besides just using black and white squares, a big black and white kind of like rectangles, how about you make different black and white kind of unique patterns, right? So if I go, yo, I go like, boom, right here, square, right here, square. Let's just kind of like fill four squares like that. And they kind of all went down. So there's just more squares going down this way. Kind of get the idea, right? And each square, just besides just saying color is black and white, each square was like a black and white kind of pattern or just something black and white. Maybe it's photos, maybe it's whatever, right? As long as it's black and white, it works, right? The only thing for me that's missing is that element of how unique are you gonna do? How are how unique are you thinking, right? Especially with clothing brands. There's so many clothing brands out there with like X, Y, Z, really cool names or whatever, but they have no real envision vision for what they wanna actually do. So in this case here, hopefully that kind of makes some kind of sense. If you're gonna make some kind of clothing brand, if you have an opportunity to showcase what colors are gonna be using in the actual brand, maybe showcase more than just that. Maybe showcase a target audience, maybe showcase whatever you wanna do. It's literally whatever you wanna do. So hopefully that makes some sense to you, Lethal, right? Just a little bit. Simple, clean, I love the design. Presentation a little off for me, but those little flicks, fixes make it look super, super, super dope. Um, yeah, that's all I got. All right, guys, so that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys ended up enjoying it for entertainment purposes, but not only entertainment, I feel like I did a little bit of cool things like highlighting some things that also can help you guys learn and improve in your portfolios and all that good stuff. So with that being said, Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I love you guys so very much. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Enjoy, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your next week, and I'll see you guys next week later. I did not just like finger gun you. <laughs> enjoy your next week. <laughs> later, guys.